Arthur came out of the blue and he said he told about the action episodes of you shot about the teaser especially you know the 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 crescent moon becomes a full moon with that so uh, should you talk about the action more since you said like it's completely laced with action and drama i mean i think sir sir has also been a part of some phenomenal action sequences yeah, we we've, yeah. we've done for this movie they shot some incredibly large um and violent sequences uh, and uh, it was great fun doing the action um it's also really raw they got there, there were some huge pelwans from um because a lot of the action is about the fights between the heads of four different villages that fight for the ancestral weapons and it's kind of the sequences i shot involved you know um a blood sacrifice to the gods and and prayer and so it was kind of mythologically rooted as well um and then really you know uh, physically demanding kind of stuff uh and and great action sequence we shot a fight for about Seven or oh, ten, 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 ten days, days. Ten, nights. ten nights, ten nights, and we still fight. didn't get done with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for teaser, another the teaser fight. Is is it in the teaser? Uh, yeah, um, I think it's a highlight. I I, the, I I think I think it's when you see Sefso's glimpse. Yeah. yeah, part of the glimpse. A part of the glimpse has got that action in it. Yeah, but uh, the running bit. The running bit is also there. Yeah. The that was shot in. Uh, but the mixture the of shooting live in 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 the Goan forest, some amazing locations yes. you found yeah. and. Uh, and patching that up with studio you can't even see uh, technically how it's done really well pulled off would some, you rate this as one of your physically most enduring movies you've uh, been a part yeah of? i think it's been uh, one of the most demanding <laughs> films for sure uh, and as <laughs> there's a there's a heap of uh, uh, weapons stuck to one mountain kind of yeah. thing the special shot on that so is it too much of a reveal if you talk about that no or? i mean it's 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 not a big reveal but okay. uh, there's a lot which 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 we've 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 placed a lot of the story on that as well there's no deity worship so okay. there is no belief in god as such okay. so what they believe is in steel the ancestral yeah steel like conan <laughs> yeah 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 they believe in so it's yeah, exactly mid century this is this uh, i have no. you said what time it is and now in 80s and 90s 80s and 90s this is set in okay. yeah i mean like a little bit of the early 80s and the early 90s or the okay. late 90s Okay. So it's an 80s and 90s. But a very film. remote place. But a very remote yeah. place yeah. where okay. I mean I see there are a lot of villages still especially in South India also I think it's there in north as well. That there's no they don't worship a god as such. So there are in Telugu we call them uh, grama devatalu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Hindi gram devata. Gram devata. Yeah. So yeah. it's like that. So yeah. they worship their ancestral weapons. Yeah. So there is no deity worship as such. So for them that weapons are the most precious okay i mean and and they are ready to go to any extent okay. for that for those weapons but whatever the ritual you understand that it's a ritual you're bowing to something so who you're praying to and all um i mean it comes through that it is about yes. prayer yes. and uh, like a kind of tribal group yes. uh, people will connect emotionally to everything that they're going through because the the basic drive is the same whether it's greed or it's power or whether it's you know wanting to be the strongest or to control it in that sense uh, you know to give an example of a, another film even a film like apocalypto yeah. yes sounded like a alien setup but yeah. then when you saw it it's just like looking at true people next door also yeah, exactly. just, so the connection is there rooted, yeah. but it's a very interesting visual uh, the yeah. costumes that we wore yeah. the clothes were really basic yeah, yeah. and uh, and it is it's almost like tribal pirates <laughs> you know in a way exactly. this, this movie yeah. uh, so it's got its own universe which yeah. is always nice the kind of visual palette and yeah. your production designs yes, abu yes. sir and uh, and and you yeah. really presented something that looks stylish and uh, watchable in terms of you know visually and at the same time emotionally it's got the yeah, strongest yeah. core ever because it's about all these basic yes emotions like yeah. fear and power and True. revenge yeah. and you yeah. know yeah i think today audiences they're liking when you actually take them into a, a very fictitious New world cuz the yeah. theaters right yeah. Yeah. the so, lights yeah. go out and the yeah. and then you're in that world, world and you don't want to come out so, yeah. so it's yeah. i think it's like you know if you actually relate to batman and gotham is nothing but downtown chicago yeah. or it's chicago yeah. yeah yeah but there is it's it's gotham yeah so i think there's there's a lot of a world play that is happening today in 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 indian cinema as well yeah if you look at movies like bahubali or you look at movies like um, kalki kalki yeah. and and in a way even if you look at animal yeah. 
So though there are characters which are around us, but after a point of time in that film, you're just with Ranvijay. You're just in his family. You're like you're sitting in his, in that room in his house. So you just alienate people away from the present atmosphere and just take them into this fictitious world. So I think that's 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 fifteen minutes into Devra. Yeah. You will be stuck in that world, and you're going nowhere. So you you'll be there. You'll be in that in that world we've created. Usually, what happens in India, man? Whenever we make a period film, some factor will jitter out. It's been very seamlessly going. Everything, yeah. costume, your special arms, background, nothing is popping out. That is, I I really liked when I saw the first uh, teaser, and your also the teaser came out. Nothing was popping out. I felt like everything was well, well balanced. The cinematography and production design. They kept it quite basic, you know, in the sense that if it's on the beach or the kind of village they lives so, they live in, yeah, it was you could maintain a so, um, a look yeah. without risking that oh this car yeah, or yeah. something so, can stand out. See, it's all about the character. See, they look, they don't look very alien. I was so, about to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Janvi, your first Telugu film. Sir, आपका भी first तेलुगु फिल्म है। And mine, yeah. Yeah. Is it your first? It is my okay. first. Yes. So, how is the language, oh, lip sync dialogues, and all that? How it worked? That's so shit. Oh, she is so phenomenal. Awesome. Yeah. Oh God, she's phenomenal. <laughs> she is. She was phenomenal with the memory and all. Yeah, I mean, like, I was shocked. Yeah. Randy sir used to call me tape recorder before, <laughs> after action. He said, "Okay, tape recorder on," and da 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 used to come. But yeah, but Lekin sir, I was shocked when I saw her. मतलब कि you know ये लड़की आई है बॉम्बे से. क्या पता होगा साउथ इंडियन रूट्स हाँ बट नो बट स्टिल सर सी स्पीकिंग इन तेलुगु इज समटाइम्स या ऑब्वियसली बट शी बट शी वाज जस्ट लाइक दैट आई मीन देयर वाज अ सीन वेयर दिस दिस वुमन जस्ट वेंट शी वेंट ऑल आउट एंड शिवा वाज जस्ट लुकिंग एट द मॉनिटर एंड ही वाज जस्ट लुकिंग एट मी फ्रॉम देयर Can you say I, I, something nice about me as well? My dear is made. I feel like I can leave the interview now. I don't need to worry about anything. <laughs> Sir, I think our camera dear has to be experienced in the movie. <laughs> Shiva sir told me. He said, "Don't worry." I, said, I mean, what but, about language? What about language? So he said, "Listen, don't worry. You can speak maybe Hindi or you can speak English, but it's just easy. Just come, just do." Firstly, when I was. Approach for the film. It was a great honor. I love Hyderabad cinema, and I think it's the future. Of in a lot of Indian, I, I mean, uh, Bombay actors, I think would be lucky and excited to be in a big Hyderabad movie. Yes, um, sure. And I was very lucky to to get this offer. But I was worried about this thing. And then you said, just turn up. It's going to be an easy experience. Don't worry about anything. He gave me the most passionate narration. Yeah. Normally, my attention can wander. If it's not a great narration, I start <laughs> feeling a little sleepy. Also, you know, I said rather read. Um, But it was a spellbinding narration, very emotional, and uh, you know, he came. We were shooting a film in Amritsar, and uh, you must have said, yeah. you know, get safe or something. <laughs> <for this role." laughs> yeah, obviously, it was. It was, a, you it, must have it was a mutual this. choice. What you know, for me, I could never. Me. Somewhere when when we when we wanted this character called Bhaira, so as uh, Saif sir mentioned, see, we don't have names for different clans here. So it is one big hill where everybody is living. So the characters, I mean, like there's no a particular name for a village as such. So there's like, ha, wo north ka north village wala hai, ye south village wala hai, ye west ka village wala hai, aur ye east village wale hain. So but it was just that. So when we were designing the characters, I think both of us really felt that, you know, who is as powerful as Devra <laughs> for Bhaira. So Bhaira oh, needs 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 oh, needs that kind of a uh, a cutout. So for some strange reason, both of us were looking at each other, and I really love Saif Sir and Omkara, and 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 yeah. I I really felt that you know there is this intensity in him. I mean, though yes, he he really has uh, a funny side oh. of him, which which tends to dominate. Look at him now. All the nice things. But there is so much intensity in Saif Sir. I think. That hasn't been captured on yeah. on on in movies, yeah. in most of the movies. Yes, yes. I also personally feel that. Yeah. Yes. yes. So I mean, like we needed that yeah. intensity. Yeah. And both of us were like, you know what? I think we so we should just go approach Saif sir. 
So I said, well, how will I do it? He said, don't worry, just turn up. There's a nice big AC set and I all this water <laughs> stuff. And I've got these machines and you just sit there and chill and it's going to be a blast. And true. you know, he was absolutely right. I came there and language. So I said, first day, I, I had to say these lines to this lady who was playing this part. And I was being cued some dialogues and I said, I'll try and get... And the sweat started running down my back and I felt kind of a thrill that I hadn't <laughs> felt for a long time. I felt I'm working in a, even though it's our country and it's another language, but that diverse, it was like a new thing for me. I felt I'm speaking a new, and I was panicking because I thought maybe I won't do it properly or my, I roughly understood what I'm saying. I tried to remember the... You remember any line? I, I, I knew you'd ask me this. <laughs> <laughs> but if you repeat, I'll repeat. No, no. But I, I prepared it and... 